Mother Nature's Bounty Harvest. It's an important piece of Pinoy art as it is the collective work of the triumvirate of modern art, namely Vittorio Edades, Botong Francisco, and Gal Ocampo. Although Gallo admits that it was actually Botong who did most of the work as he and Edades were busy with other responsibilities. I don't know who gave the title, but I have a feeling that it was done hastily and superficially. A quick glance shows nature, people enjoying its bounty, and a cami of the divine. But in art, especially one that is created by our pioneering masters, needs more than just a two-second look. First off, is it really about Mother Nature when we see an elderly male figure hovering above everybody else? Hollywood has poisoned our minds to equate the portrait to God, so let's assume that it is he. So it is not Mother Nature's bounty harvest, but the Creator's blessings upon his creation that we are seeing here. We see a maiden duo whose arms are stretched as the elderly male. As they are positioned below God, we are to understand that they rank low in the hierarchy. They remind me of those assistants in a magic show. The Trinity that is unlike the biblical Holy Trinity, hovers over a tree which is the central focus. As much as the divine has a cameo, it is the tree that takes the center of the stage. The action of all the figures lead to the tree and its produce. Without it, we won't have a unifying element. It would look more like a market vendor scene, a picture of agricultural life, or the heavens looking down on the mortals. So if I were to retitle this piece, I would call it the tree of life as it is the tree that not only gives this painting life, but it is the one that gives life and sustenance to the people and the carabao. Looking at the centrality and importance of the tree, it makes me think that the trinity above it is not of a divine nature, but perhaps they are loved ones that have passed on. They are just watching over the people they have left behind. Look at their arms. They're just stretched. You don't see anything pouring from their hands to bless the people. Gala's admittance that it was Botong who did most of the work is believable given the rural sentimentality that is often depicted in Botong's pieces. And it is because of this that if I were to retitle it for the second time, I would call it Another Day in Paradise. The scene that we are seeing here is the idyllic. It is how we picture island paradise where we all receive our sustenance from nature. Nothing concrete that forms urban life. The men and women are at their prime with toed muscles for the men and perky boobs and flat stomachs for the women. Everything is natural and organic, including the cycle of life where our loved ones may have left us, but they are still with us in spirit. See more of the works of our masters. Pinoy masters are essential. Art is essential.